Hi, I'm Judy Gula with Artistic Artifacts, and I'm Liz Kettle with Textile Evolution. We travel to shows. I actually take my shop and pack it in a vehicle and go and go to shows in different uh, states. And one of the questions that we are asked quite frequently about are photographs and how we use them in our work, and how do you output them? And uh, in addition, people use direct print and transfer interchangeably, and they are, in fact, two different processes. So we're going to walk you through some of the options, explain some differences, and hope that this clears up some of the confusion. One of the first things we have to think about is the type of ink we're going to use with our printers. There's two different types of printers. One is um, the, mo the most printers use dye inks. It's less expensive than pigment mm -hmm. inks, and it's more readily available. And on paper, it gives a sharper image. And the other type of ink is a pigment ink. Uh, we want to use pigment inks when we're printing on fabric because it's waterproof and it's going to last longer. It's going to give a better image and it's not going to fade. You know when you print off a recipe and spill water on it and it starts disappears <laughs> right in the middle of cooking. <laughs> Blame the yucky dinner on the recipe running. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen with our photos. So that um, and so I, we want to use pig, pigment, pigment inks. inks. I think the color is better. The color is better. Yeah. I think the color is better. And the most common pigment ink printers out there are the Epson Durabrite pigment inks. You don't have to have a very expensive high-end printer. They have very inexpensive printers. The ink is a little bit more expensive than mm -hmm. your um, dye inks, but it's your artwork and you're getting a better product. Um, the it's, it's the best way to go about it if you're going to spend the time and invest yeah. it in the art, then yeah. use the proper materials. Okay, when you're getting your, you're going to scan your photographs uh, into your computer, no less than 300 DPI dots per inch. That's going to give you clarity and crispness, crispness to work with. You can resize it a little bit. And you want to, when you're printing out your photos, make sure that you're filling an 8.5 by 11 grid because you only run through once right. and print. Um, the first most clear product is actually printing on fabric. I use personally prepared for printing fabric by Electric Quilt. And it is also a cotton lawn, which is very fine, intricate woven, and it's going to give you clear definition. I guess that makes me a realist because I like to see the real photo. There's lots of other fabrics that are out there from organzas to canvases, and it's just going to give you a different look based on the weave, all for your purpose. Um, and does it matter what kind of ink you use on when you're Technically, no. Okay. But again, I like Epson because it gives you crisp, clear colors. It's backed. This is actually backed in plastic. It has a fabric on the top so that it does not jam through your printer. The other option is using Luchador, and that is going to be a very airy, web-like material, and you can run it directly through your printer, and you're going to get a little bit of an airy photograph. So you have, um, you know, many people use this on a regular basis that like to have that airy illusion of a photo and not the crisp detail that you get on the printer. Uh, when I was looking for my Luchador, I mistakenly cut up some Pellon tearaway stabilizer, which has a much different look, a little bit airy, but still more solid than Luchador, and it printed very nicely. It did. <laughs> it was a happy accident. At one of those that actually worked. Now, on these products, you're going to use them in things that are, you are not washing, right? Correct. Um, though the fabric can go through the washer. Yes, yeah, you, you can, can use it in a quilt. Many people use it in memory quilts, and it is washable. Okay. And does it matter particularly about the inks on these? Again, my personal preference. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can do it with what you have. It's just going to give you a little bit of a different look that's okay. going to be very Okay. Um, the other thing we want to talk about is image transfers. Image transfers is a process where you print on one material and then you transfer the image from that material, that substrate, to your fabric or your wood, your 
many different surfaces. Glass, metal, you can transfer onto a lot of different surfaces, paper even. Um, and there's two different products that we like techniques to use because mm -hmm. they give you completely different looks. One is this water-soluble stabilizer. It was another happy accident where I, well, it wasn't quite an accident, <laughs> but it was one of those light bulb moments where I thought, oh, I'll bet we could print on this. Water-soluble stabilizer is designed to run through your printer, mm -hmm. and it's designed for paper piecing, so all you quilters will yeah, you know must, exactly it what Very it's easy for. to find because most quilt stores are going to have this product yeah. available And for it's you. inexpensive, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of the image transfer techniques that we've been using for the last few years, the products keep getting improved to keep the ink on because we're using office supplies and all kinds of different Transparencies things. Transparencies and such. Yeah, and, and we want things that allow the ink to shift off. Shift <laughs> off, and that's not what the manufacturers want. So they keep improving their products, and we don't like that. This technique gives you a kind of a very soft finish. It's imperfect. You're gonna, not always going to, this one in particular, was, came off with just a little tiny bit of the image missing. But sometimes you'll have big chunks of it missing. It's a little sim it's similar to the tearaway it is. rather than the luchador. luchador. It is. Uh, and what I like about it is that it's unpredictable. You get, uh, you may have a big, big chunk missing and, and so it looks old and faded mm -hmm. and torn and I love things. That a have little that, bit of that distressed look. Yeah, that t a time worn kind of look, like mm -hmm. it's been around for a long time. I like that look. And we have a tutorial on how to do this um, image transfer process, so look for that and you can get all the details. The other one we like is tra Leslie Riley's Transfer mm -hmm. Artist Paper. Leslie Ri Riley is an artist who developed this product because she was frustrated that all the manufacturers oh, kept, kept improving their products so we couldn't get the ink off. And this product is a heat activated iron on product and you run it right through your printer. It's white on one side and very pale purple on the other side. Uh, you want to print on the white side, and you just—it doesn't matter what type of ink you use for either of these two processes, no. because uh, here you're using uh, an acrylic medium to transfer it, and here the the polymers in this product okay. will bond it to your fabric. These can be washed, which is really exciting. That's a big, a big bonus, and the images are cr clear and crisp and perfect every time. You can make them imperfect if you want. But they're very perfect. It's now, why wouldn't I just print it on here? And I, why, why do I use tap? The images are actually more crisp. The colors are more saturated when you use transfer artist paper, because your fabrics can only absorb so, so much, much ink that's put down, and the tra the acrylic polymer that she uses in this paper mm -hmm. bonds with the fabric in a really unique way that it actually gives you a brighter picture. And, and how does it does it change the surface, the hand hand it, of the it, fabric? It, when you first do it, it does. It's a little bit stiff, and then you can rinse off the excess polymer, mm -hmm. and it will be very soft. And you can wash it; so, okay. it will get softer. We also have a tutorial on this product, so you okay. can more details. More details. We've done it on lots of different surfaces. And you, Liz and I both have blogs. Textile Evolution is Liz Kettles, and Artistic Artifacts uh, is a website, a storefront, and a traveling show, and a blog. <laughs> and you can get all this cool stuff right on her site.